All right, hey guys. So today I'm gonna be filming my October TBR and this is not including any of the books that I have out from the library. This is not including any of the books <laughs> for Victober except for one. <laughs> and this is not including any of the books that I'm gonna be reading for the Spookathon, which takes place at the end of October. So with that being said, let's jump into the video. <laughs> So the first book that I plan on reading, I actually plan on reading this month, but I didn't get to it, and that is Ghost at a Watchman by Harper Lee. I read To Kill a Mockingbird. I just finished it, actually, and I really, I wanted to reread it before I read this because I hadn't read it in a long time, so I have to pick this up because I've read To Kill a Mockingbird so I could read this. This is definitely going to be the first book that I read in October. The next book I mentioned in Victober, but I'm going to mention it again because I'm gonna make sure you guys know that I'm gonna finish this book this month. Oh my god, things are falling. And that is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I have been reading this book since like February and I need to finish it this month. I'm like halfway through and I'm, I'm loving it. I just need to finish it. I just need to dedicate the time and be like, yo, this is a priority. So I'm saying it again. The next book I have I'm really excited about, and that is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I mentioned this in my book haul, um, but this book is, I want to read the Jane Austen books in order of publication, you know, the order that they were um, published. So this was the first one, and I have this beautiful edition. This is Panguish English, pa Panguish, this is Panguish. This is the Penguin English Library Edition. And this is the hardcover cloth bound one. So there's also like paperbacks, but yeah, I'm really excited to pick this up and it's so pretty. Next book is a historical fiction and I've had this, I've owned this book since like it literally came out, but I just, I've been saving it for when I was in the mood and now I think I'm gonna be in the mood. So yeah, and that is Salt to the Sea by Rudis Petty's. I don't have the dust jacket on it. I don't have the dust jackets on any of my books anymore. I don't know if you've noticed, like they're just, they're all naked. You want to know why? Because I did something absolutely crazy. And I took all the dust jackets off of my hard covers and I cut them up. The prettiest covers I cut. And I'm going to hang them on my wall. Because I really hate dust jackets. Like I think they're most, the, I think they're the most irritating things in the world. And plus like with the Empire of Storms and the Crooked Kingdom, um, dust jackets where the posters on the back like I want to be able to hang those up so I just decided to take all of the dust jackets off of my books and I cut them all up and I'm gonna make a mural and I will definitely show you guys when it's all done it was a very impulsive decision and I think I might really regret it but that's why none of these books have dust jackets just so you know um so it's salt to the sea by Rudis Apetis and this one's actually really pretty it has like a little bird you probably can't see it but it has like a little bird here um and it's like speckled I don't know, I just really like it. This is a historical fiction that takes place during World War II and it follows four characters and they're all on the same boat. <laughs> but they're on a boat together. Uh, I'm in such a weird mood. <laughs> um, but they're all on a boat and something happens and I'm not gonna, I know what happens, but I'm not gonna tell you because you should read it and find out for yourself. I heard some really, really amazing things about this book and I'm so excited to read it. Book contradicts what I just said about not having a dust jacket because I really like this dust jacket even though I take it off when I read it. But I'm gonna reread Illuminae. Oh my god. Books are falling. <laughs> that was probably really funny. Um, <laughs> so sorry. If, okay, but the next book I'm gonna read is Illuminae by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. And I'm gonna reread this so I can read Gemina! Whoa! It's by the same authors, but it's the sequel. It's coming out on October 18th. I'm so excited because Illuminae was one of my favorite books of last year. So that book almost just fell again and I just caught it. I'm a star. I should probably not have these books on my lap. I'm gonna move them. Okay, now we don't have to worry about that anymore. But yeah, I'm gonna reread Illuminae and I'm really excited about it. And the next two books I'm so excited about and you should be so excited about too. Plus they look really beautiful without their dust jackets. Um, so the next two books I'm gonna read are Six of Crows, which look at this without the dust jacket. I mean, come on, it's beautiful. 
and Crooked Kingdoms. I've never read Six of Crows. I've had it literally since it came out last year and I still haven't read it. And then I bought Crooked Kingdoms the day it came out and I still haven't read Six of Crows, but it's fine. But like these look so beautiful without their dust jackets and I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna be reading these books and I'm gonna be crying. and I, I'm like not even worried because I know I'm gonna love these books and it's gonna destroy me, but I'm so excited to go on this journey with you guys. These are all the books that I'm gonna read this month. Besides all the books that I just claimed that I was not including. Yay. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are all the books that I'm gonna read this month. Let me know what you guys are planning on reading in the month of October and I'll see you guys in the next video.